A laboratory UK, US, colloquially lab, is a facility that provides controlled conditions in which scientific or technological research, experiments, and measurement may be performed. Topic. Overview Laboratories used for scientific research take many forms because of the differing requirements of specialists in the various fields of science and engineering. A physics laboratory might contain a particle accelerator or vacuum chamber, while a metallurgy laboratory could have apparatus for casting or refining metals or for testing their strength. A chemist or biologist might use a wet laboratory, while a psychologist's laboratory might be a room with one-way mirrors and hidden cameras in which to observe behavior. In some laboratories, such as those commonly used by computer scientists, computers sometimes supercomputers are used for either simulations or the analysis of data. Scientists in other fields will use still other types of laboratories. Engineers use laboratories as well to design, build, and test technological devices. Scientific laboratories can be found as research room and learning spaces in schools and universities, industry, government, or military facilities, and even aboard ships and spacecraft. Despite the underlying notion of the lab as a confined space for experts, the term, laboratory, is also increasingly applied to workshop spaces such as living labs, fab labs, or hackerspaces, in which people meet to work on societal problems or make prototypes, working collaboratively or sharing resources. This development is inspired by new, participatory approaches to science and innovation and relies on user-centered design methods and concepts like open innovation or user innovation. One distinctive feature of work in open labs is phenomena of translation, driven by the different backgrounds and levels of expertise of the people involved. History Early instances of «laboratories» Recorded in English involved alchemy and the preparation of medicines. The emergence of big science during World War II increased the size of laboratories and scientific equipment, introducing particle accelerators and similar devices. Topic: The early laboratories. The earliest laboratory according to the present evidence is a home laboratory of Pythagoras of Samos, the well-known Greek philosopher and scientist. This laboratory was created when Pythagoras conducted an experiment about tones of sound and vibration of string. In the painting of Louis Pasteur by Albert Edelfelt in 1885, Louis Pasteur is shown comparing a note in his left hand with a bottle filled with a solid in his right hand, and not wearing any personal protective equipment. Researching in teams started in the 19th century, and many new kinds of equipment were developed in the 20th century, a 16th century under underground alchemical laboratory was accidentally discovered in the year 2002. Rudolf II, Holy Roman Emperor was believed to be the owner. The laboratory is called Speculum Alchemiae and is preserved as a museum in Prague. <laughs> Topic. Techniques Laboratory techniques are the set of procedures used on natural sciences such as chemistry, biology, physics to conduct an experiment, all of them follow the scientific method, while some of them involve the use of complex laboratory equipment from laboratory glassware to electrical devices, and others require more specific or expensive supplies. Topic equipment and supplies Laboratory equipment refers to the various tools and equipment used by scientists working in a laboratory. The classical equipment includes tools such as Bunsen burners and microscopes as well as specialty equipment such as operant conditioning chambers, spectrophotometers and calorimeters. 
Chemical laboratories Laboratory glassware such as the beaker or reagent bottle analytical devices as HPLC or spectrophotometers Molecular biology laboratories plus life science laboratories Autoclave microscope centrifuges shakers and mixers pipette thermal cyclers PCR photometer refrigerators and freezers Universal testing machine ULT freezers incubators Bioreactor biological safety cabinets sequencing instruments Fume hoods, environmental chamber, humidifier, weighing scale, reagents, supply, pipettes, tips, supply, polymer, supply, consumables for small volumes, micro L and ML scale. Mainly sterile laboratory equipment is generally used to either perform an experiment or to take measurements and gather data. Larger or more sophisticated equipment is generally called a scientific instrument. Topic. Specialized types The title of laboratory is also used for certain other facilities where the processes or equipment used are similar to those in scientific laboratories. These notably include Film laboratory or darkroom Clandestine lab for the production of illegal drugs Computer lab Crime lab used to process crime scene evidence Language laboratory Medical laboratory involves handling of chemical compounds Public health laboratory Industrial laboratory Topic Safety In many laboratories hazards are present Laboratory hazards might include poisons, infectious agents, flammable, explosive, or radioactive materials, moving machinery, extreme temperatures, lasers, strong magnetic fields or high voltage. Therefore, safety precautions are vitally important. Rules exist to minimize the individual's risk, and safety equipment is used to protect the lab users from injury or to assist in responding to an emergency. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA in the United States, recognizing the unique characteristics of the laboratory workplace, has tailored a standard for occupational exposure to hazardous chemicals in laboratories. This standard is often referred to as the laboratory standard. Under this standard, a laboratory is required to produce a chemical hygiene plan CHP, which addresses the specific hazards found in its location, and its approach to them. In determining the proper chemical hygiene plan for a particular business or laboratory, it is necessary to understand the requirements of the standard, evaluation of the current safety, health and environmental practices and assessment of the hazards. The CHP must be reviewed annually. Many schools and businesses employ safety, health, and environmental specialists, such as a chemical hygiene officer CHO, to develop, manage, and evaluate their CHP. Additionally, third-party review is also used to provide an objective, outside view, which provides a fresh look at areas and problems that may be taken for granted or overlooked due to habit. Inspections and audits like also be conducted on a regular basis to assess hazards due to chemical handling and storage, electrical equipment, biohazards, hazardous waste management, chemical waste, housekeeping and emergency preparedness, radiation safety, ventilation as well as respiratory testing and indoor air quality. An important element of such audits is the review of regulatory compliance and the training of individuals who have access to and or work in the laboratory. Training is critical to the ongoing safe operation of the laboratory facility. Educators, staff and management must be engaged in working to reduce the likelihood of accidents, injuries and potential litigation. Efforts are made to ensure laboratory safety videos are both relevant and engaging. Topic: Organization. 
Organization of laboratories is an area of focus in sociology. Scientists consider how their work should be organized, which could be based on themes, teams, projects or fields of expertise. Work is divided, not only between different jobs of the laboratory such as the researchers, engineers and technicians, but in terms of autonomy, should the work be individual or in groups. For example, one research group has a schedule where they conduct research on their own chosen area one day per week, but for the rest they work on a given group project. Finance management is yet another organizational issue. The laboratory itself is a historically dated organizational model. It came about due to the observation that the quality of work of researchers who collaborate is overall greater than a researcher working in isolation. From the 1950s, the laboratory has evolved from being an educational tool, used by teachers to attract the top students into research, into an organizational model allowing a high level of scientific productivity. Some forms of organization in laboratories include Their size, varies from a handful of researches to several hundred. The division of labor occurs between designers and operatives, researchers, engineers and technicians, theoreticians and experimenters, senior researchers, junior researchers and students, those who publish, those who sign the publications and the others, and between specialities. The coordination mechanisms, which includes the formalization of objectives and tasks, the standardization of procedures, protocols, project management, quality management, knowledge management, the validation of publications and cross-cutting activities, number and type of seminars. There are three main factors that contribute to the organizational form of a laboratory. The educational background of the researchers and their socialization process, the intellectual process involved in their work, including the type of investigation and equipment they use, the laboratory's history, other forms of organization include social organization. Topic: <laughs> Social organization. A study by H. R. H. Richard, involving two laboratories, will help provide an intuition on some of the subtleties of social organization. The main subject of the study involved, the relationship between the staff of a laboratory and their locator, and the social hierarchy observed from these different relationships. Through ethnographic studies, one deduction is that, among the personnel, each job has a different degree of entitlement, and the degree of entitlement per job varies per laboratory. These rules needn't be set in stone, they can be informal, yet accepted by members of staff. As an example, administrators, in one lab of the study, do not have the right to ask the locator where the researches currently are. A consequence of this degree of entitlement is that the locator discloses various degrees of information, based on the staff member. The locator does not want to disclose information that could jeopardize his relationship with the members of staff. More generally, the differences in attitude among members of the laboratory are explained by social organization. A person's attitudes is intimately related to the role they have in an organization. This hierarchy helps understand information distribution and control. Furthermore, a second deduction is the resistance to change in a social organization. Staff members feel ill at ease when changing patterns of entitlement, obligation, respect, informal and formal hierarchy, and more. See also